सी आई ई टी एन सी ई आर टी प्रेजेंट्स द ऑडियो बुक क्यूरियोसिटी टेक्स्ट बुक ऑफ साइंस फॉर क्लास सिक्स पेज वन चैप्टर वन द वंडरफुल वर्ल्ड ऑफ साइंस एज ह्यूमन बींग्स वी हैव ऑलवेज बीन क्यूरियस अबाउट आर सराउंडिंग्स वी स्टार्ट एक्सप्लोरिंग आर सराउंडिंग्स एंड आस्किंग क्वेश्चन राइट फ्रॉम आर चाइल्डहुड डिड यू एंजॉय डिस्कवरिंग एंड एक्सप्लोरिंग the world around you in the preparatory stage of school as you enter the middle stage we will continue this fascinating journey trying to explore and understand the beautiful world we live in and for that we have a new subject science welcome to the wonderful world of science on the right hand side of the page there is a question box that says what is science science is a way of thinking observing and doing things to understand the world we live in and to uncover the secrets of the universe think of it as a big adventure we ask questions explore the world and try to understand how things work for this the most important thing to have is curiosity which is where the title of this book comes from whether it is studying tiny grains of sand or massive mountains a leaf of grass or a vast forest there is always something new and exciting to discover on the right hand side of the page there is an image of a mountainous region have you ever looked up at the night sky and wondered why stars shine or watched a flower bloom and wondered how it knows when to open these are just a few of the many mysteries that science helps us unravel the most wonderful thing about science is that it is everywhere from the depths of the ocean to the vastness of outer space from what is cooking in the kitchen to what is happening on the playground some of the most groundbreaking discoveries have often come from unexpected places page 2 on top of this page there is a picture of a desert and a coast in the middle of the page there is an underwater view of the ocean and the galaxy above us science is like a giant and unending jigsaw puzzle every new discovery we make adds an other piece to the puzzle And do you know what is the best thing about this puzzle? There is no limit to what we can discover since every new piece of knowledge leads to more questions and more things to find out. Sometimes we find a piece of this puzzle has been put in the wrong place and needs to be moved. New discoveries often change our understanding of the world. As you go through this book you will encounter interesting ideas do some thought provoking experiments and see how some of what we find out is useful in our daily lives page 3 and guess what happens as we discover more and more we start realizing that these ideas are all connected on the right side of the page there is a box that asks the question what will we explore with the help of this book we will start off by looking at our home planet earth it is the only planet we know that supports life and it has an environment that we must protect there is an amazing variety of life on earth plants and animals that have managed to survive and thrive in different regions on this planet you might have seen a seed grow into a plant a caterpillar transform into a beautiful butterfly and many more such observations how do these plants and animals grow in the center of the page there are images of a seed growing into a plant a caterpillar a cow and her calf of course to grow we need food to eat and especially 
in a large and diverse country like India, food is so fascinating. Across the country, we have different cuisines with many tasty dishes. What are they made of? How do we find out? In the bottom of the page, there are images of varieties of food. Page 4 Along with food, we need water to survive. Water is such a delightful substance. Have you ever run and jumped into a puddle when it rained? Do you ever wonder why and how it rains? Have you noticed that water freezes and becomes ice when we cool it and boils and becomes steam when we heat it? Do you enjoy drinking cool water in the summer or showering with warm water in the winter? How do we understand hot and cold? Whether it is water or our own body when we have fever, finding out how hot something is can be important. In the centre of the page, there is a picture of a water body, land, clouds with raindrops and the sun, all depicting the water cycle. Then again, there are so many different things around us. The paper we write on, the metal key, the plastic ruler and the rubber eraser in our box, the magnet that keeps the box closed, the clothes we wear, the cup we drink milk in and so many other things. What are they made of? Are they made of different materials? How do we separate different materials from one another? In the bottom of the page, there is an image of children and adults under the stars and moon. Page 5 We will have an almost unending list of questions about everything on earth as we further explore this book. But why limit our questions to the earth alone? We can ask questions on things beyond. The sun, the moon and the millions of stars that shine in the sky. Whether you are learning about the structure of a leaf, discovering how things move, or separating the skin of a peanut seed, we hope each chapter of this book will ignite your spirit of inquiry and hopefully you will have a lot of questions in your mind. On the right hand side is a box which says, how can we try to find answers to our questions on our own? Even though you may not realize it, you have already been finding answers to many of your questions. Suppose your pen stops writing. What would you do? You would ask yourself the question, Why did my pen stop writing? You might guess that the ink finished. You would then test this guess by opening the pen and checking the ink refill. If it is empty, you would know that your guess was correct. But suppose you find that the ink was not finished. Now what would you do? You would make another guess. Perhaps the ink might have dried up. To test if this guess is correct or not, you will try something else. This is exactly how science works. The way you try to find out why your pen stopped writing is an example of the scientific method. On the left hand side is an image of a girl looking at the pen refill. Activity 1. Let us think and write. Write about a similar problem that you tried to solve. What steps did you take? Science is not just about memorizing facts and figures or doing experiments. It is about following a step-by-step -step process that helps us find answers to our questions. So what are the steps that we can follow? Page 6 First, we observe something that we find interesting or we do not understand. This makes us wonder and perhaps think of a question 
about it. Then we guess a possible answer to that question. We test this guess through experiments or more observations. We then try to analyze the results to see if it actually answered a question. Scientists are people who follow the scientific method to solve problems or to discover new things. But anyone who follows the scientific method is working like a scientist. On the left hand side of the page, there is a gas stove with a cooker on it. Someone cooking food may be wondering why the dal has spilled out of the cooker. Was there too much of water? On the left hand side, there is another picture of a person repairing the punctured tyre of a bicycle. Think of a bicycle repair person trying to find out why a tyre is flat. From where did the air leak out? Or an electrician trying to find why a light bulb is not working? Is there some problem with the bulb or the switch? When we try to ask questions and find out answers, in a way, we are all scientists. Activity 2. Let us think and write. Describe a daily life situation where you feel someone was following a scientific method. Do you now realize that there are several daily life situations where we knowingly or unknowingly apply the scientific method? Page 7. Though we all apply the scientific method to some extent, learning science will develop our capabilities for finding solutions to bigger problems and solving more mysteries of the universe. And to be able to learn science well, the first and the foremost thing is to be curious and observe your surroundings keenly. And when we are curious, we start posing questions, asking how and why. Just remember, the world is full of things we do not know, things that are waiting to be explored. Activity 3. Let us think and write. If you have to ask why about something, what would you ask about? Try to write down how you would attempt to find an answer to your question. Science is rarely done alone. Scientists across the world work together, often in large teams. So if you cannot find an answer yourself, ask your friends to help you out. It is always more fun to discover things together. In the bottom of the page, there is a group of children doing an experiment together. Of course, remember that you will not find answers to all your questions within grade 6. Do not worry. You are embarking upon a journey of science for the next 5 years or even beyond. Page 8 on the top of the page, there is an image of children walking through the rain. Much like children enjoying the rain, science is all about joyful exploration. Enjoy your scientific journey, keep exploring and never stop wondering about the amazing mysteries of the universe and asking questions. On the right side, there is a box that says... After all, to be a wise person, you must be a wise person. Are you ready to embark upon the exciting journey of science? Let us get started. Chapter 1 ends here. Curiosity. You were just listening to this audiobook, textbook of science for class 6. Narration, Dr. Pranita Gopal. Technical coordination, Bati Langlingdo. Sound recordist, Virendra Rawat. 
असिस्टेंस इन प्रोडक्शन सुरेंद्र कुमार डायरेक्टेड एंड प्रोड्यूस्ड बाय विमलेश चौधरी दिस ऑडियो बुक इज ब्रॉट टू यू बाय सी आई ई टी एन सी ई आर टी न्यू डेली इंडिया